Hello and welcome to episode 24 of series 3 of Become a Legend Story Mode. Now, the last episode was a tough one. Really, genuinely, one of the most ball-breakingly painful episodes ever. It was, it was that bad, it was that bad. As you can see there below, an exasperated looking Hendrix. PSV have gone four games without a win. And uh, their words, not mine, they are in pretty dire straits and I could not agree more. We've essentially played our way out of any chance of winning the Eredivision. We could maybe get a Champions League spot, but even that at this point is looking unlikely. But thankfully in today's episode, we do have a little bit of, of light, a ray of light potentially, or it could also be the nail in the coffin. Uh, we play Veveve, ve, ve, or Ve... I don't know how you pronounce it. Followed by Fortuna Sittard, who are 16th in the league. And then boom, we're into the uh, first knockout round of the Champions League. And we invite the giants of France, PSG, to the Philips Stadium. That's going to be a big test. But Eggy has shone in the Champions League so far. Hopefully he gets a start in that game. But before we get into the games today, uh, a couple of things to mention. One is the new PS Emmers discord server yep that is a chat where you can come in and talk to me talk to fellow pez story mode fans talk about pez talk about football share funny links all of that good stuff and i'll be in there chatting it up so uh, yeah link is in the description uh, discord's a really cool app if you've not already got it so you can download it for free for your phone or you can use it on your pc or in a browser and uh, yeah as i said come in talk to like-minded people discuss the episodes discuss football in general discuss life it's all up for grabs in there. So uh, yeah, I hope to see you in there. As I said, follow the link in the description. So before we get into the game, I do need to go and amend Eggy's training. The vote went out to the patrons, the people who support this channel via Patreon, and they got to vote on which skill training we would go for next. The choices were Long Range Drive, Outside Curler, Fighting Spirit, and Militia. And it was with 60% of the votes Fighting Spirit that won, which I think is a smart one. A lot of you suggested it. It enables us to uh, perform better under pressure and fatigue, as well as adversity. I'm not sure where pressure and adversity differ, but fatigue, well, we know that Eggy does get tired later in games. So we're going to try and learn this one. We need to assign some points to that as well. Stammer, I think we can lose one from that. Uh, speed. Dribbling is already very good. We don't want to lose much from shooting. Uh, maybe one from physical as well. So we'll pump that up. 84 days. That's not a huge amount of time. Pretty good. So there we have it. Let's get into the first game. Is Eggy starting today? Yes, he is. Good stuff. Petriac on his left. Bergwin on the right. No space for Lozano in this. Nabil Bentaleb. Oh my god. If, he, if we have another penalty and he misses a third in a row, then I'm going to I'm just going to tear every hair out on my body. It's not going to be pretty, but that is how frustrating it would be. As I mentioned to a lot of you in the comments, clearly bottling it is in his DNA, being as he started as a youngster at Spurs or was there as a, a youngster. So, I mean, we, we had that to expect, really, from a player like him, but it was really painful to see it actually play out in front of our own eyes. Angelino on the bench today. Eggy and him have fallen out badly after he decided to take the free kick in front of him, even though Eggy has had an incredible record from set pieces this season. So, uh, yeah, he doesn't start today. Hendricks at left back. The changing room was not a happy place after that disappointing draw in the last episode. Uh, VVV, well, they've got a lot of 60 rated players. In fact, they've only got three 70 or above rated players. This is a game we should be winning. We need to uh, just get back in winning ways. Four games without a win just isn't good enough for a side that should be challenging for the league title. Right, let's get into it. So a lot of the fans have been starting to question manager Herman's decisions in the last few games. And uh, yeah, I completely agree. Dropping De Jong was a bewildering choice. He's been by far and away our best striker this season. Pretty much whenever he starts, he scores, and especially alongside Eggy. That is a great partnership, but it was split up. Eggy dropped. Obviously, Eggy was injured for a while. That didn't help, but De Jong just didn't play. Romero and Big Raj haven't been firing, but it is Romero in today again. So can he prove to the manager that he was right to play him? Well, let's find out. Oh, when we're pulled apart here, eight minutes in, it's going to be VVV with the first proper chance of the game. Lindhorst into the box. Is it back to Conte? Low ball in, and it is dealt with eventually. But danger signs there. Nice work here from VVV, and now Samuelson to take on his man. It's a good ball in. Malapa oh, puts it wide. VVV looking the brighter side here in this first half. Ball is threaded through, looking for Malapa. Two PSV defenders can't get the ball back. Now Samuelson. Oh, slips it in well. Post back to Malapa. Great effort, great goal. For fuck's sake, things go from bad to worse. 
to really just unimaginably awful. And it's a well, it's a, it's a well worked goal. Nice back heel here. Crafted finish. Beats Zoot. And dear, dear, dear. High ball. Looking for Maxi Romero. Lovely flick on into Weggy. He'll hold it to play in Petriac. Petriac will get there. Eggy's got a lovely bit of space here. If we can find him inside. Oh, and he is dispossessed, but it will be pulled back for the foul on Petriac. Good opportunity here for Eggy to whip a ball into a dangerous area. Got to be looking for uh, one of the centre forwards. Oh, doesn't quite get there. Eggy will pull it, pick it up, though. Edge of the box. Away from post. No, too much. Maxi Romero on the turn, though. Lovely finish. That's much more like Maxi Romero that we know and love. Eggy didn't really do the right thing here. Slowed it down too much. Looked to cut back inside. Dispossessed, but it fell kindly for Maxi Romero. And the Argentinian finished very well, especially off balance. And things are even again, but we're still looking pretty poor. Malapa now, and it's a 2v1. Lovely ball into Conte. Zoot decides to stay. Conte out of his feet. Low ball in. Oh, it's good defending. And it really needed to be there. Eggy into Maxi Romero. Powers away from Decker through the centre. Lays it into uh, Hendricks there. Looking for Maxi Romero. Lovely first touch from him. And that is a brilliant, brilliant goal from the young Argentinian. And he makes it two. Grabs a brace. I would say against the run of play because we've not been great. Eggy held it up well here. Just did enough to find Hendricks. This first touch, though, beautifully away from the defender. And opened up his body for a lovely finish into the side netting. And, yeah, whether we deserve it or not, we have got the lead. Eggy into Maxi Romero. Just to get it back. Lovely ball in from Petriac. Eggy can look for Maxi Romero now. Lovely feet. Out to Bergwin. Low ball back into Maxi Romero. Ah. Eggy's having an absolute nightmare today. It's really nothing is working for him there. And that's half time here. And it's not been a great game for Eggy. As you can see against the run of play, we somehow are ahead here. We've only had 42% of possession. Only two shots, both from Maxi Romero. Both scored. But Eggy's having a woeful game. It's no coincidence that Eggy's poor form and PSV's poor form are matched. Is it a chicken and egg sort of scenario here? Is PSV playing badly? Making Eggy look bad, or is it the other way around? We don't know. All we know is that Eggy needs to come out in the second half and do everything better. He's lost the ball so much. He's made the wrong decisions. We don't want to be dropped for the PSG game. We want to be playing in big ties like that, and that's only two games away, so we need to impress. All over the top to Bergwin has beautifully worked. He takes it down and just puts it wide. What a ball that was. Oh, Bentaleb wins it back well. He can do something right by the looks of it. Maxi Romero finds Eggy. He'll push it ride for Petriac. He'll get there. Back to Eggy. Looks to find Petriac again. Makes him work for that one. Maxi Romero with the header. Oh, onto the top of the netting. Some good interplay there with Petriac. The second ball in here. He uses his pace well. He knew where to put it. Unfortunately, Romero just couldn't get it on target. Great header there. Eggy will pick it up. Finds Maxi Romero. He returns the favour. Eggy gets away from his man. Can slip it into the path of Maxi Romero. <sighs> Fender did get a touch. Still just can't quite make the right choices. But he's won that back really well. And now Maxi Romero in the centre. Eggy steps back. Sees the on-running Petriac. Can he finish? He can't. Maxi Romero off the post. No. <laughs> oh, we were too generous there. Should have gone alone. Great hustle from Eggy. Just couldn't quite finish it off. It's having a bit of a problem with the end product at the moment. Bentaleb wins it back. Certainly got no problems doing that. It's much better to have him doing that than taking penalties. Eggy forward steps inside of his man. Can he get the shot off? Here he can! Oh, just wide. Unfortunately, I think that will be our last play of the game. And that is by far our best. We look bright there. Finally managing to beat a man. The amount of times we've tried that in this game and been dispossessed. Just couldn't get it on target. Unfortunately... I think it'll be Eggy substituted here. And he is. And that's not a good 60 minutes. We were tired. We didn't perform well. And Rosnack will come on. I dread to see what our rating is going to be in this game. I think it's going to be a 5.5. It's my prediction. Can we hold on to this lead? Come on. Oh, and there we are. Maxi Romero grabs his hat-trick here. And that should be the goal that seals it. 
We massively needed this win and we massively needed Maxi Romero to step up to the plate. It's a good ball out from the substitute Rusnak into Petriak. He puts in a simple ball, but that is a fabulous finish from Maxi Romero. PSV's number 10 hitting this first time on his weaker foot. And that is something quite special. Oh, Maxi makes it four. Is this the uh, this is the time where he really starts to come into form? We just bad-mouthed him, said De Jong was the better player. Maxi Romero has been disappointing. I mean, he is against weaker opposition here, but he's come through with four goals when we needed them to get back a little bit of the form that we've so dearly missed in these latter stages of the season. What, what, hang on, what was that? That was an odd finish. I think it was meant anyway. Doesn't matter. Four goals, lovely work. Well, full time here, and the positives are, I guess, that we came from behind for a much-needed win. Maxi Romero grabbing four goals, taking home the match ball, plus one. The negatives certainly are, and Eggy's performance, and I dread to see the rating for Eggy today. It's a 5.5, just as we thought. Lost the ball on many occasions, and even in a 4-1 win, wasn't even able to get an assist, let alone even a real chance on goal. Unfortunately, Rusnak comes on, he got an assist, he gets a 6.5. I think Eggy's position in the starting 11 is certainly in danger. But at least we get a win in the league. Much, much needed. Still 10 points now off Feyenoord and still 6 points away from AZ. I think it's two Champions League spots, isn't it? So, I mean, we've got some time to turn that around. I don't know if we play AZ again. I don't think we do. Uh, Eggy's having a bit of a lean spell. We've got to remember he is only 20 years old. Uh, he has got 11 assists this season and 9 goals in 23 appearances. So not bad, but the last 3 or 4 games have been poor not just from a you know getting things on the stats boards point of view but just his general play hasn't been up to scratch who knows why who knows why but luckily we do start today for our game against fortuna sitard eggy again needs to come back strong he's had a bit of a rest he's had a lot of minutes this season let's not forget he's only 20 years old sideways arrow again isn't ideal but we do have de jong and lozano back in uh, Bergwin also out on the right. He's a good player to have on that wing. Hendricks again at left back. I'd much prefer him in Thomas's position. But Angelino can stay on the bench forever as far as I'm concerned. My love affair with him is over. Uh, Fortuna Sittard, very much like VVV. A lot of quite lowly rated players, including a 62 rated goalkeeper. All right, come on, Eggy. Let's get back into it. So one word that we need to be wary of, and I guess Eggy is 20 years old. He's not 16 anymore, but burnout is a real thing. Oh, look at that shirtless PSV fan at the front there. I've never spotted that before. But anyway, burnout is a problem for young players. And Eggy is still fairly young. He's only just 20 years old. So that could explain some of the poor performances. But, you know, we know he can do it. We know he can perform at this level. He's just got to start proving it again, especially with PSG just around the corner. All right, come on then. Free kick opportunity here, 26 minutes in. Not a lot has happened in this game. It's flighted in. No one can get to it. It's going to be Fortuna. We'll have a chance to break here. That's a good challenge. Play down the line into Eggy. Pulled wide. Looking for options here. He's had to go back. Oh, and loses possession, but he is foul in the process. Martinez with an opportunity here for Fortuna to put a ball into the box. It's over the wall. Dangerous here. Far post. Vidigal keeps it in. He almost puts it back into the path of his own player. Can we hit him on the break here? De Jong into Eggy. Didn't want that in the air, you fucking idiot. Oh my god, I'm starting to lose it. Stockers now into Pinto. Seconds left in this first half. Let's not give away a goal now. We've not been great, but Dionysi has a chance here. Oh my god. And we just about get that clear. And we'll go in at the break without any chances to our name. Not a single chance. Once again, Eggy has been poor, but the whole side has certainly been below par. I'm getting so angry at the moment. I just can't do anything right. It feels like we're playing on Legendary plus 10. Just need to take a deep breath. Concentrate. We can do this. We've done this before. We can do it again. That's nice. Ball over the top into Weggy. He's got away from his man. Can square it now for De Jong. Yes, finally a fucking assist. That'll do. That'll do. And it's that dynamic duo. Eggy and De Jong. Big man, little man. That's worked very well there. Eggy used his pace well. It was a good ball from Dumfries. He had a... No, no, it wasn't Dumfries. It was Bergwin. Good ball. Eggy, hand in the air. Already had the momentum to take him past the number 23. Simple ball inside. That's a lovely finish from old meaty boots. And, uh, yeah, better. Thank God. We needed something. A ray of light, and that is it. Keeper finds Eggy from the goal kick. 
Ball into De Jong. He's taken out, though. And he's injured. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Not ahead of the PSG game. Oh, God, this is frustrating. What is wrong with this game at the moment? Eggy is having a tough, tough time, as are PSV. He's going to try and run it off here, but you just know that's going to be an injury. Probably just for one day. Just so we miss out on the biggest game of the season. Just as we were starting to find just a sliver of good form. And please don't make it worse by scoring a goal here. Dobas, back to Masuidi, Pinto, that's a good ball into Stockers, that's well cut out, still not cleared though, let it run, let it run, okay, and it is full time here, and it's De Jong's goal set up by Eggy that separates the sides, not a good game, but two wins on the bounce, what we really needed, that was, we had one shot on target, Eggy's not going to have a great, I mean 6.5 is, is okay, it's better, but still, there's so much more we could have done, Let's just pray he's not injured, please. So Feyenoord lose. That's interesting, AZ. Unfortunately, don't. Still now, a six-point gap between us and AZ. It's not insurmountable. We can keep these wins coming. And there's a chance of getting back into that Champions League spot. And if we get there, then the league is still a possibility. But we need the other teams to slip up. And we need to keep winning. Right, fingers crossed, please. Everyone, cross your fingers. Everything you got. Got a nice week off. Oh, no, we don't. We've got three days off. And we're in the starting lineup. Thank God we're not injured. We are going to be very, very tired. Oh, ho, 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 there it is. There it is. Actually, I don't even know you can see those uh, little notifications that you get, but the first sign of a breakthrough has come at the perfect time. Let's see it. Let's see it. Yes, everybody on your fucking feet. Eggy is about to go stratospheric. Look at that flashing blue arrow. It's beautiful to behold. And what a game to get it in as we go up against the PSG side with some odd decisions. I mean, obviously, they've got all the great players. They've got Mbappe there. They've got Di Maria, Neymar, Cavani playing in a two. They've got Adley at attacking midfield. Mbappe's still 84 rated, even at right midfield. Uh, Celso, Diara in the centre. Draxler, Rabio, Mounier, John Stones, they've signed him as well. Marquinhos doesn't even make it into the uh, onto the bench today. Neither does Verratti. I mean, an embarrassment of riches. We need to start strongly at home. And Eggy on a flashing blue arrow is just about perfect. Right, this is it. Now is the time to really hit form. Let's do it. Well, it took its time, didn't it? Eggy has been excellent almost from day one. We knew a dramatic improvement would come at some point. Is this going to be one of those long ones? The ones that really see us go up two, maybe three points? It could be. The key thing there is to have good performances whilst in the dramatic improvement period. We saw it with Gabby Goal. He went stratospheric. Eggy can do it now as well. Let me know in the comments whether you think I should uh, halt his skill training, his special skill training, and put it all back into uh, normal training. I don't know really how the mechanics work of a dramatic improvement. You would think having the training on his skills, which will improve definitely with a dramatic improvement, might be the right choice. Let me know what you think. That's just a theory that I've just literally come up with now. Anyway, massive game. The league may well be out of, a, out of our grasp this season, but the Champions League, well, it is a cup competition. Anything can happen in these knockout formats. Obviously, this is a huge test for this side, but Eggy's on great form, and he's only going to get better. Let's do this. Oh, Eggy nicks it back from the Celso. He's full of beans today. Now Bentaleb. Smart play from him. Finds a great ball into Eggy. It's for Maxi Romero. Can he play it back into him? Maxi Romero still on it. Oh, what a finish that is. Oh, my word. Maxi Romero reaches up into the very toppest of all the top draws and puts it into the very toppest of all the top bins. What a finish that was. He got a bit caught underneath him. It was a great ball from Bentaleb into Eggy. He was looking for the 1-2 with Maxi Romero. And then oh, him and Thiago Silva just went on a little dance. And that is some finish. It wasn't quite top bins, but it was off the post. And that is always very satisfying. Eggy right in amongst it. Wanted the return ball from Maxi Romero. It didn't come. Somehow it ended up in the right place for him to absolutely leather it. We've got the perfect start here at the Phillips Stadium. Can we keep moving? Can we keep pressuring this side? Eggy with the interception. Finds Maxi Romero. He can hold it up here. Bentaleb plays it wide. Pereiro. Lovely ball inside to Eggy. Oh, he does. Does the defender. He rushes in. Eggy full of it today. 
Plays it back. That's nicely worked. Maxi Romero lays it off. Eggy! Oh, and it's deflected wide. Eggy looking very sharp, as you would expect. You just can't get the ball off him when he's playing with this sort of confidence. Plays it back out. Lovely ball in. Maxi Romero lays it off. Looks to shape it. It came off the back of Thiago Silva. We'll have an opportunity here from this corner. Neymar now. Haven't seen anything of him yet. Oh, easy interception there for Reggie. He looked to get away from Diara. Cuts back inside of him. Lovely work. Eggy now can get the shot off. Hits it well with the right foot. Forces a save. He is lively today. Wins it back. Steps away from Diara. Sends him off on a merry dance. Unfortunately, he didn't get into position to hit it with his left foot. Did a pretty good job with his right, though. Mistake there. We can't be making too many of them. And they win it back here. Adley into Neymar. Lays it off into Adley. Bentaleb with a good foot in, but they still have the ball. Lozano can't get to that ahead of Mbappe. Cavani pulls wide to pick it up. Lovely move there. Ball into Adley. It's off the post. And Mbappe's there to put it in. And PSG are level. And crucially, they get their away goal. We've been probably the better side. But PSV's class has started to shine through. It's a great ball in for Cavani. Adley just couldn't finish it. But Mbappe was there to put it away. And the young Frenchman evens things up here in what has been a pulsating first knockout round game. Can we... Uh, oh, no. Don't do that. Don't give it to him. Neymar with the tricks, but he can't find a way out, thankfully. Bentaleb picks it up. Out to Lozano. Maxi Romero looks for the flick into Eggy. Eggy somehow gets to that. Cuts back. Ball inside to Bentaleb. Oh, yes. Well, he can't score penalties. And what he can do is tackle. And it turns out what he can also do is finish in open play. Two penalties missed this season. But we'll forgive all of that and his uh, Tottenham roots. As he finished that off well. Eggy did brilliantly here. Somehow got to this. Ahead of Thiago Silva. Lovely step back inside. Saw the run of Bentaleb. Put it perfectly into his path. He couldn't fail but finish there. And our lead is restored. And the Phillips Stadium is rocking here. Could we be in line for a famous win? Well, we've still got plenty of time left. And plenty of time with Mbappe, Di Maria, Neymar, Cavani on the ball. So, yeah, we're going to have to do bloody well to come away. With anything less than a loss today, Lo Celso can't keep it in. <sighs> so dangerous. It's a great game, this end-to-end -end stuff. Neymar now into Cavani. So much attacking talent. Oh, that's a great ball from Di Maria. Neymar threw on goal. Oh, the first touch, though, made it difficult for him. Adley edge of the box. Bentaleb, great challenge. We can't get it back, though. Neymar inside to Cavani. Still, though, we can't get it clear. Diara wins it ahead of Eggy. Adley with the effort. Great save. <sighs> big, big save there. But PSG piling on the pressure. And it's going to be Angel Di Maria to take this one. Mbappe looks for it. Lovely header. And it's in off the bar. And it's a brace for Kylian Mbappe. Oh, dear. Well, we knew this was going to be a test. We knew that two goals probably wouldn't be enough. Those two away goals. It's not great. We're still making a fairly good account of ourselves in what was always going to be a very tricky game. My ball looking for Eggy. What a ball that is into Pereiro. Will we have another chance on goal before the end of the half? Pereiro into Eggy. Throw on goal here. Looks to square it to Romero. Too unselfish, but Romero on the turn. Can't get it in. Eggy should have finished that. Let's hope we don't regret that. Should have just had a go. He's on a flashing arrow. Oh, Big mistake there from Eggy in the final seconds of that half. But what a half it was. What an exciting half of football. This is Champions League at its very best. Well, we've got the odds massively against us, but we've started so strongly. Eggy's looked very sharp. Can he keep that going in this second half? Oh, ball over the top into Cavani. Is a good one. He'll hold it up here as reinforcements arrive. Adley, great ball back out to Cavani. He's onside, pokes it in, looking for Lo Celso. Good header away. Eggy not aware though. Diara plays it back. Lo Celso into Neymar. Oh, just wide. Danger. Di Maria does really well to find himself out of a tight spot. Now Lo Celso will do the same. Di Maria looks from over the top. Have to play it out for a throw. They're piling on the pressure now. They've completed 91% of their passes in this game so far. That is a very, very scary stat. And they'll keep the ball here nicely with Di Maria into Lo Celso. Plays it back into Di Maria. Lovely ball in. Cavani will jump for it. Saved. Whoa. Got a chance for a break here if we can get the right ball out. 
Kanegi can play it wide. Into Lozano. will get there just ahead of Kimbepe. Oh, that's a great ball into Eggy. Back out to Lozano. Ball in, looking for Romero. Pereira at the front post. Oh, he sneaks in. And we regain our lead. Unbelievable scenes here. This has certainly been worth the attendance fee for these PSV fans. They will have seen nothing like it. And under the lights here at the Phillips Stadium, they're seeing something quite special. Eggy involved again. Received the ball from Lozano. Didn't see any options. So smartly turned away from the oncoming Thiago Silva. Back out to Lozano. Put it to the far post. And I'm not sure who it was beaten there at the far post by Pereiro. I think it was Lacelso. The two wingers linking up beautifully. Can we? Can we keep scoring goals if they keep scoring them as well? Surely this can't go on. Neymar out to Lo Celso. Di Maria gets in behind his man. Lovely ball into Cavani. Oof. And the defender did very well there. Very well to put him off his stride. Adley is off now. Julian Draxler on in his place. Di Maria will look to put this cross into the box. Decided to go short. Mbappe digs one out. Oh my god, nearly an own goal there. And there'll be another corner. This is really tight. Di Maria goes short. Diara gets to ahead of Eggy. Gavani's effort is palmed over the bar. He must be wondering what he needs to do to score today. The Uruguayan has had so many opportunities. What a save that is. It's not Zooting goal today. Not sure who the keeper is, actually. He's done pretty well there. Oh, Eggy caught in possession at a really bad time. Now Cavani into Neymar. What a ball into Mbappe. Always oh, put it wide. No one would have ever thought that would happen there. He looked sure to get his hat trick. Thankfully, Eggy is spared after losing it in a dangerous position. Surely we can't hang on to this now. Neymar cuts back. Still they come. A sea of blue. Neymar, ball in looking for Cavani. Once again, Lukasen. He's done really well there. He's been an absolute beast for us today. Don't want to lose it there, Hendrix. No. Neymar plays it back. Diara. Oh, my God. No. Oh. Bentaleb. Neymar into Cavani. Danger here as they look to come forward. It's a three-on-three -three opportunity here. Cavani into the box. Angelino does nothing. Oh, but it's another incredible save. I just I don't understand how we are still ahead here. This break looked a sure goal. Angelino didn't even bother trying to catch up with Cavani. It was through one on one, but it's a great reaction save. One of many from the keeper today. Di Maria into Lo Celso. Eggy chasing shadows in the middle at the moment. Lukasen heads away. He has done all game. He's been excellent. Can we keep him at bay now for another seven minutes? Draxler is through. Back to Cavani. Back to goal. Straight into the keeper's gloves. Come on, six minutes. Let's keep this going. We need this goal. This goal advantage going into the game in Paris. Be absolutely key for us. I think he's found a little pocket of space here. Can he use it? He can push it out now to Lozano. Kimbempe comes across and gets the tackle in. But Eggy steams through. Can he find the right ball into Maxi Romero? <laughs> yes! Get in there! Maxi boy! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is quite historic. And look at that. That is a pretty picture. Eggy beaming, as he should be. Great hustle here late in the game to speed ahead of Kimbempe. Who taken out Lozano. Great ball into Maxi Romero. And he's had quite a few assists this season. But are any going to be as important as that? Four goals against PSG. Obviously they've got the two away goals. But we now go to Paris hopefully with a two goal advantage. And that is not something we expected when we started this game. Can we hold on to these two goals? Only a minute or so left in this game. Eggy will receive it here. He's away from Rabiot. Surely not more goals. Eggy. He's only got Maxi Romero to look for inside. Steps away from Thiago Silva. Oh, Rabio prevents it. Eggy away again. Oh, can ben... Oh, God. We could have got the fifth there. We've got to be happy with the result. No goals for Eggy, but two assists. And a massive performance from him in general. The dramatic improvement has begun. And that was a dramatic way to begin this period. Uh, in the end, we had less possession and PSG had more chances, but we had the same amount of shots on target. And uh, yeah, we, we look good. We look really good. The keeper was huge. Colossal. Room. We've heard nothing from him. That might be his first game this season. But, you know, he's come out. He's taken over from Zoo in a massive game. And he's performed incredibly. I don't know how he only gets a six. I guess he did concede two. But he saved at least five. 
which were definitely going in. So seven for Eggy, two assists for him. Pereira, Lozano, both on the goal sheet. And Maxi Romero as well. It's been a great team performance. And that is a real shock. That is an underdog story for the ages. And what a start to this knockout round. So many good sides left in this. And that is the highest scoring game by far. And we'll go to Paris now with an advantage. Who knew? Eggy up to 73 rated. We're going to hopefully see his stats fly up now. Now that the dramatic improvement has begun. With due a finishing improvement, ball control and attacking prowess may well go up as well. And Eggy's unwavering balance is now up to 80. That's his first green stat. He's turning into a man. So absolutely incredible. And there we are. Improvements all over there. Lofted passes up. Header speed up to 79. We're just going to see him fly now. And we're back into the uh, area division in the next episode against Willem 2. The dramatic improvement has begun. He's going to keep picking us. Well, you were sort of picking us already, but good to see you're committed to that. Starting lineup as we expected against Willem 2. Maybe we can turn this season around. How many games have we got left in the area division? 1, 2, 3. We've got Feyenoord as well. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We've got 10 games left. Plenty of time. We don't play AZ, but we do play Feyenoord. That is a massive episode coming up. Uh, we're not quite going to get it all in one episode. We will play Vitesse in the next one. But then PSV, and then Feyenoord, and then the quarterfinal first leg. <sighs> if we make it through, then next uh, Friday, no, next Thursday's episode is going to be one for the history books. Well, that was exciting. That episode started slowly and ended with a massive bang. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in a bit. Oh, and I'll see you in the Discord channel. Come and join me there and let's talk about it. Anyway, in a bit.